Hello and welcome to the Innova Systems tips and tricks from this year's customer day. Uh, we'll start straight away by selecting our S key to pick a smart dimension tool. Um, what I want to do is add an angular dimension between those two points and normally what you would do is draw a couple of construction lines to, uh, to do that but we can actually grab that point, that point and the center point there and place down an angular dimension which we'll just accept the default value for. This 23mm dimension here, you can actually use the thumb wheel to scroll that by uh, a set number of increments. For me it's 10mm which is setting your tools options. But if you hold down the control key it actually will times that value by 10. Uh, and if you hold down alt it will actually divide it by 10. So you can get some more refinement using that if you need to. So we'll just set that to 23 and accept it. If we move over to this section here, I'm going to place a center line between those two points. And if we just move these offline a little bit, what we can do is add a relationship between the two outside lines and the center line and say that they're symmetric and you'll see that pulls that back into line. It's quite an underused relation that, but quite useful nonetheless. Uh, we'll just use our S key here again and grab another dimension and we actually want a dimension between those two points but sometimes this can be a bit awkward you'll see here the dimension uh, switches to a horizontal one if you want to lock the focus so that it is point to point if you right click at this point you'll see that we can now drag down and place it where we want it to be and I'll set that to 35 we'll just add another dimension in here to fully position that and then we'll zoom out a little bit more now uh, if you want to place virtual sharps there's a nice way to do this if you hold down the control key and select two entities and then hit uh, the point tool just on your sketch tool bar here you get a virtual sharp which you can dimension to if you need to and that will work in drawings as it does here in the sketch environment just over here we've got three arcs which go to make up that back section there what I want to do is have that as one surface so to do that I would use a fit spline here and when using fit spline all you need to do is pick the entities that you want to cover and then toggle whether you want a closed spline or an open spline uh, and then select the green tick and you'll see now I've got one entity which encapsulates those three uh, we'll see the results of that a little bit later when we move through into the part environment the next thing I want to talk about is the trim tool uh, as we know we can right click here and select extend entities but what you can also do is grab the endpoint and just pull it out and that will extend those entities and then we're straight into the trim tool there to trim uh, the unnecessary items back so you can use extend from within the trim tool there we'll just go ahead and place another dimension on here like so uh, and then we'll we'll put another one on here just to over define the sketch and we'll say we'll leave it driving. Uh, this, as you know, we've got a sort of sketch tool down here which will launch the sketch expert, which will take us through some uh, results on, on how to uh, troubleshoot that. But with display delete relations here, if we click this button, we can actually get it to show over defining not solved uh, relationships and then choose to delete those which is a really nice way to look at those and another nice thing here is if you're looking at breaking external references you can change this to external and then just select the ones you want to delete but we know that that one was the one we placed so we'll get rid of those two there okay the next thing I want to do is just sketch a center line here and I want to position some sketch text onto that so again if we just choose sketch text and place it we can type in in over uh, we'll just make that a little bit bigger there. So we'll just increase the size. And one of the nice things about sketch text is we can use it for any number of things. But if you do want to, for example, break that circle up, if you're doing a sheet metal part, you can right click and say dissolve sketch text. And it will convert this now into uh, standard sort of splines and lines for you to manipulate how you want to. We don't actually need that for this next bit. So uh, we'll just get rid of that. Uh, and then finally we're going to double click to exit the sketch.